What's up, 7th grade? Mr. Agnost here. Today we're going to be talking about something called percent error. Um, and this is something that you may have actually used before or heard before, where someone makes a guess or a prediction about something, and then we want to know, well, how much were they off by? Right? Or maybe you've heard, oh, this, this prediction was off by 10%, or your prediction was 20% too high, or this person's prediction was 20% too low. Right? What does that mean? Where does it come from? Okay, so we call this percent error, and I'm going to try making my video a little different today. I'm going to try using this blackboard uh, and sort of doing problems myself. All right, so what we are talking about today is something called percent error. So I'm just going to write percent error, and I'm just going to I'm going to come up with a problem here. Okay, I'm going to say I, I'm curious about how many kids in the class have pets. Right, so I don't know how many kids are in our class. It was like thirty something, um, but I'm gonna guess that twenty two have pets. All right, so I say okay, I'm gonna guess twenty two have pets. And next to this, I'm gonna write estimate. Okay, just so we remember, this is my estimate. I'm guessing. the 22 students have pets. So then what I do is, okay, I say, if we're actually all in the class together, I say, how many students actually have pets? Raise your hand. And 20, 20 students raised their hand. So my guess was 22, but the actual amount, so I'm gonna write actually have pets. Actually, I'll write actual amount. The actual amount, that's a, that's a M. The actual amount was 20. So then the question was, well, how much am I off by? And you say, well, two. Okay, I was off by two, but on a percentage basis. If I was gonna say, what by what percent? You know, how, how close was I on a percentage basis? Um, what percent was I off by? So in order to do that, the way we find percent error is you take the estimated value so we take the estimate, we then subtract the actual amount, all right? That tells us how much we were off by, and then we divide that by the actual amount, because that will convert it into a percent for us. All right, so let's just go ahead and plug in some numbers here. And there is a, there is a little twist here, which we'll get to in, in the next problem. All right. Our estimate in this case was 22. The actual amount was 20. And I'm going to go ahead and divide by 20. All right, 22 minus 20 is 2. Divided by 20. So 2 divided by 20. Um, and again, it, remember a fraction is a division problem. So um, you can think of this as a couple of ways. You could just do two divided by 20 in a calculator. You could simplify this to one tenth. Um, either way, we're gonna get this in a decimal form of, of 0 0.1. All right, so here's the first little twist. When you get your answer, your answer is not in percent form. Your answer is in a decimal form. So we have to take point zero point one and convert this to a percent. All right. So what is zero point one as a percent? Well, remember, anytime you want to take a decimal and convert it to a percent, just multiply it by one hundred. So zero point one. Anytime you want to multiply something by one hundred, just move the decimal two to the right. One, two. So my new decimal point is here. Since I have an empty spot here, I put a zero. So 0 0.1 is equal to 10%. So I was off. The percent error in this case was 10%. And just a quick little, you know, on this last step here, just recall that, you know, 0 0.1 is 10%, 0 0.2 equals 20%. 0 0.3 equals 30% and dot, 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 and so on, right? So 
Um, anytime you have a number in the tenth spot here, it just means 20%, 30%, so. Okay, let's take a look at a second example um, with a little twist. All right, so we're still working on percent error. We're still working on percent error. And this time I'm actually going to go ahead and, and now that we know the equation, I'm actually going to go ahead and, and write it out ahead of time. We're going to take our estimate or our guess or our prediction. They use different synonyms for this. We're going to take our estimate. We're going to subtract the actual amount. And we're going to divide by the actual amount. Okay, so this is how we find percent error. All right, well, what if the number on top ends up being negative? So what if I ask you guys, okay, uh, you know, I just I just watched Jumanji, both of them, Welcome to the Jungle and the Next Level. You got to go, you know, The Rock, Kevin Hart. Um, and they got one of the Jonas Brothers in there, right? Got to love the Jonas Brothers. Uh, one of the Jonas Brothers plays Alexander Seaplane, I believe it was his name. So what if I said, okay, who in this class is a is a big fan of the Jonas Brothers? So I'm gonna I'm gonna estimate that 15 students get in the class. So 15 love the Jonas. So I'll say 15 love Jonas Brothers. And this is my estimate. So next to this, I'm gonna put estimate. And then I say, okay, raise your hand if you actually love the Jonas Brothers. Wow, turns out 18. 18 actually love Jonas. And that's probably too low. I know you guys all love the Jonas Brothers. So this is actually love Jonas Brothers. All right, so let's go ahead and put this into our equation and see what happens. So the estimated amount is 15. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract the actual amount, which was 18, and then we'll divide this by 18. So 15 minus 18 is negative 3. I get a negative here, right? 15 minus 18 is negative 3. So I was off negative 3 over 18. All right, so the question becomes, what do I, what do, I do with this negative? Well, when we're talking percent error, we're always at least in this unit, going to use a positive number. So they tell you to, to what's called take the absolute value. And just a quick review on absolute value. Absolute value is the distance of a number from zero. So a lot of times we'll have like a number line. Okay, and here's zero. And here's the number five. Well, the distance between zero and five is, is five, right? So we say that the absolute value, and you use these little bars, the absolute value of 5 is equal to 5, right? It's the distance. It's how far from 0 to 5. Well, now imagine I have the number negative 5. Well, what's the distance between 0 and negative 5? Well, the distance between 0 and negative 5 is also 5. We don't measure distance in negative numbers, right? You don't say I walked 5 miles north turned around and walked negative 5 miles south. It's just you walked 5 miles north and then you walked 5 miles south. So we say the absolute value of negative 5 is also equal to 5, right? This line is 5 units long and this line is 5 units long. So if you end up with a negative up here, you're just going to take the absolute value of it. So I'm just going to take the absolute value of it. So really what I'm looking at here is 3 over 18. Um, which is 1 over 6. So what is this as a decimal? This is going to be a repeating decimal. Um, 1, 6, let's see, 1 point, I forget what it is. So I'm going to say 1.000 divided by 6. All right, uh, 0 times 6 is 0. 1, bring down the 0. 6 goes into 10 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. That's a 4, bring down the 0. If I recall correctly, it's 1.6 repeating 30s. Yeah. So I know I didn't do the whole work here, um, but 1.6 is equal to 0 0.16, and the 6 is going to repeat. Okay. Well, what is this as a percent? Let's go ahead and move that decimal 2 to the right. 
So 0 0.16, we're going to move, um, and a 6 is repeat. If they go on forever. So I'm going to move this decimal one unit, two units to the right. So 0 0.16 um, as a percent is 16.6. And again, these, these sixes repeat. So 16.6%. So my guess was I was off by 16.6% in terms of how many students love the Jonas Brothers. All right. So remember, if you get a negative number on top, we're going to take the absolute value of it. Um, otherwise, you just use the regular number. And this tells us by how much um, we missed. Okay, um, so again, the, the video isn't meant to teach you everything there is to know about percent error. Right? It's meant to just introduce the idea. Now we're going to go and actually dive in, right? I can show you a video on how to swim, but you're not going to learn how to swim until you actually get in the pool and do it, right? So I just showed you a little video on, on freestyle. Well, now let's get in the pool and let's actually try it, okay? The estimated value or the predicted value, they're going to call it different things, but they're all synonyms. Estimated, the guess, the predicted. Take the estimated value minus the actual value, divide that by the actual value, and that will tell us by how much our guess was wrong. Okay, uh, make sure you guys ask, ask lots of questions in class. You guys always do, um, and I'll see you soon.